Our motto at Telemine is making dreams come true one house at a time. That's our Gretna motto. Um, Cindy, she will realize this dream this week. And um, Cindy, she has spent her childhood and her adult life living in public housing. And Cindy's dream was to own her own home. And Cindy, she came to Telemon to participate in Telemon's Home Buyer Club. And through the Home Buyer Club, she learned how to prepare for home ownership. And she learned of programs that were available for first time home buyers, such as the, the VITA program, uh, the Home Ownership Down Payment Assistance Program, um, the Affordable Housing Preservation and Production Program. USDA rural development and the financing that they have available to first time home buyers. So Cindy was a smart lady and she she took to heart the, the things that were taught in the home buyer class and she said, I'm gonna own my own home. And with Cindy's dedication and perseverance, it's gonna pay off this week and Cindy's gonna become a homeowner. And um, so congratulations Cindy from Telemon. Good afternoon, everyone. June is National Home Ownership Month, and each year in June, Rural Development selects one home buyer who has utilized our funding to receive the Home Buyer of the Year Award. This year, I'm proud to announce that Ms. Cindy Martin is the winner of our Home Buyer of the Year Award for overcoming great challenges in the pursuit of home ownership in Virginia. Presented by Ellen M. Davis, our State Director. Congratulations, and I wish you many happy years in your new home. Thank you. Standing before you all, is nobody knows this is, I've always wanted to own my own home, to have something for my son, to, to leave for him. Um, anyone who has a dream of becoming a homeowner, I'm standing, I'm living proof right here that you can be. Just be persistent, be dedicated in whatever you do, and you will be that homeowner you desire to be. Basically budgeting classes, um, credit counseling, how to read your credit report, the importance of your credit score and credit report, the importance of contacting creditors, and basically just getting your credit, your credit right to become the homeowner. Um, I came out of basically with A1 credit and um, so it was very helpful. That was my main goal was to get my credit right, to become the homeowner and that's exactly what Ms. Ball and Ms. Rory actually done. I saved $2,500 and Vita gonna match me $4,000, so a total of $6,500. But for the whole experience, it's a blessing. Um, it's just beautiful. I always desire to own my own home, and I'm a homeowner. So um, it's just you just have to push and keep pushing and keep. And you will have obstacles, but you have to push past those obstacles and keep going for your dream. Telemons to be commended for its efforts at, at, at home, affordable home ownership. Uh, this is tough work. This is not something that happens just because people think about it. It happens because it takes a lot of energy and focus, um, and you have done it well. Um, when you get through Beverly Heights, you'll have six houses available for first time home buyers, uh, and that is not insignificant in Southside Virginia when you think about families trying to get into home ownership. Uh, so much has to come into place in order to, to enable folks like Ms. Martin to become first-time home buyers. Our role in this today is working, having been working in partnership uh, to bring some of the financing resources to the table. And one of what I think is one of the more innovative programs around this Virginia Individual Development Accounts program that Ms. Martin has been participating in for the last several months. And in this program, there is a savings component. Ms. Martin has been saving. We've been matching those, those savings to help build up the down payment. But in addition, uh, there are home education and budgeting and economic literacy uh, uh, courses that she has been going through and learning more about what it takes to be a home buyer and own a home. This is driven home to me, especially since if you read the papers much these days, you know there are a lot of folks struggling right now around the country with the whole foreclosure crisis. Uh, and what we have learned in looking at that is a lot of folks got in trouble because they were not sensible consumers. They did not understand uh, either the loan products that they were, under, uh, were getting ready to take or they didn't understand what it was going to take to own and operate a house. So programs like VITA, 
and groups like Telemine that have worked very closely with Ms. Martin and others are really the secret to being successful in, in affordable housing. Uh, very soon, Ms. Martin is going to make a move from, uh, from assisted housing where she has lived her whole life uh, and she is going to be a first-time home buyer and this is a great day for celebration for Homeownership Month.